Hello third graders, how are you doing? Ready for a new lesson? So again and again, the body is a factory with many body systems working in it. Body systems work together to perform different jobs in the body. Examples of body systems include the circulatory system, the respiratory system, the digestive system, the muscular system, the skeletal system, and finally, the nervous system. Before we start with a new body system, let's go for a quick review about some other body systems. To live and grow in a healthy way, you need oxygen and nutrients. Oxygen and nutrients. Which body systems help you get the oxygen and nutrients that you need? Let's start with the oxygen. It's your respiratory system that helps you or allows to take the fresh air and the oxygen inside the body. Respiration or breathing happens in two steps, inhalation and exhalation. When you inhale, oxygen is taken in by the, by the nose. The air then passes to the windpipe, which is the trachea. Then, the air goes or moves to your lungs. So again, when you inhale, air passes from the nose, through the trachea, to the lungs. Exhalation now happens in the opposite side. When you breathe out the air, the air passes from the lungs, to the trachea, and outside your body, through the nose. Now, what about nutrients? Where do we get nutrients from? Nutrients are found or prepared in your body in the small intestine. Again, where do nutrients come from? They come from food, that's right. The job of your digestive system is to turn food and liquids into the building blocks and fuel that the body needs. And these building blocks or fuel are the nutrients. First of all, you eat with your mouth. In the mouth, your teeth help you chew your food and you swallow the food with your tongue and saliva. The food then passes to the esophagus, which is a stretchy food pipe that moves food from the back of your mouth to your stomach. The stomach, which is attached to the esophagus, store the food you've eaten and break down the food into a liquidy mixture. So food in the stomach looks like a thick soup. Then food moves to the small intestine. The small intestine is the most important part in the digestive tract. In the small intestine, the food is fully turned, up, turned in to nutrients. Finally, in the large intestine, water is absorbed from the remaining food and uh, waste are pushed to the outside of your body. So, oxygen in our lungs, nutrients in our small intestines. What can we do with these two? How do they pass? to all of our body cells, they pass in the blood. So the blood takes the oxygen from the lungs, it takes the nutrients from the small intestine, then the heart pushes the blood through special um, blood vessels, the red blood vessels in here called the arteries. So the arteries carry the blood rich in oxygen and nutrients to all of our body organs. And then the blood comes back through uh, the blue blood vessels called the veins and the blood is, uh, goes back to the heart. The heart is a muscle that has the size of your fist. It pumps to push the blood to all of your body organs. To 
work properly, your respiratory system, your digestive system, your circulatory system need the help of your muscles. Inside the heart, in the heart we have the first type and a special kind of muscles, which is the cardiac muscle. The cardiac muscle is the muscle found in your heart and it helps your heart pump and um, push the blood inside your body. One, the cardiac muscle, an involuntary muscle, you cannot control it. Can you stop your heart? Can you control the movement or the beating of your heart? You cannot. So, the cardiac muscle is an involuntary muscle, you cannot control it. What about the muscles found next to the lungs? The muscles found in your digestive system? These muscles are called smooth muscles and this is the second part of muscles found in our body. One, the cardiac muscle found in our heart. Two, the smooth muscles found in our inner organs. These also are involuntary muscles since we cannot control their movement or their job, their work. Can you stop the job or can you stop your esophagus or control its movement? Can you control the movement of your stomach? You cannot. So, cardiac muscles, smooth muscles, are involuntary muscles. What about the third type of muscles? The skeletal muscles. That's right. This is the third type of muscles. One, cardiac muscle. Two, smooth muscle. Three, skeletal muscle. We call them skeletal muscles since they are connected to our bones which are the pinkish organs shown in the picture right here. Our muscles are connected to our bones with tendons. Tendons are structures that connect muscles to bones. And these muscles are voluntary muscles since it's you who control them. You use your brain, you decide to move them or to stop their movement. So skeletal muscles are voluntary muscles. Again, one, the cardiac muscle, the smooth muscle, and the skeletal muscle build our muscular system. So, our muscular system, made of more than 600 muscles, has or contains three different types of muscles. The cardiac muscle the smooth muscle and these two first types of muscles are involuntary muscles we cannot control them and the third one is the skeletal muscle which is a voluntary muscle since we can control its movement the smallest muscle in our body is found in the ear and it's called the stapedius the longest one is the sarcoius and it's found in the thigh one of the strongest muscles is found in your jaw. Okay? Let's connect some information together. Our skeletal muscles are attached to the bones, right? What about the lungs? The lungs are found in our chest and they are protected by the rib cage. That's right. This rib cage is made of bones. What about the heart? The heart is found in your chest and it is protected by the rib cage also. And the rib cage is made of bones. Didn't we say that the brain controls the skeletal muscles? Your brain is protected by the skull. If you touch your head, you, you will feel something hard. This is the skull made of bones. So, is there a system, a special system for the bones? Yes, there is. And today we're going to talk about the body system made of bones. So, your bones are attached together to make your skeleton or skeletal system. The skeleton or the skeletal system is made of 206 bones. Let me tell you something. 
Babies have more bones than adults. An adult or a grown-up has 206 bones. As the child grows, some of the bones stick together. So when you when you are born or when you were born, you had 300 bones. Some of them stick together. And then when you are adult enough, you will have a skeleton made of 206 bones. Our bones are hard. They are hard. They support our body. So let me tell you that bones are hard because they contain calcium in them. Bones contain calcium and you find this calcium in different kinds of foods such as milk, cheese, and um, different kinds of food in it. So, bones are hard because they contain calcium. And before we start talking in details about our skeletal system, let's play a quick game. You can visit this site to play it yourself. Skeletal system, label, assemble. I will assemble the bones in order to build the skeleton system. Assemble the skeleton in as few attempts as you can. While moving the bones, this game will give me the names of the bones inside my skeleton system. I'll start with the head. Cranium. Facial bones. Rib cage. Pelvic girdle, vertebral column, clavicle, scapula, hand bones, hand bones, foot bones, foot bones. Femur, femur, tibia, 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 humerus, humerus, ulna. Radius, radius, ulna, fibula, fibula, patella, patella, sternum. This is the skeleton. Inside each one of us, we have a skeletal system that looks like this one, the one shown in front of you. This is a skeleton. The skeleton is made of 206 bones. This is the stapes. The stapes is the smallest bone inside the body and it is found in the ear. The femur found in your thigh is the longest and strongest bone in the body. So the stapes is the smallest and it is found in your ear. The femur is the longest and largest and it is found in your thigh. What about this? What do we call this part of the skeleton? This is the skull, that's right. Our skull is made of eight bones fused together and it protects the brain. This is the ribcage. The ribcage consists of 24 ribs and it protects our heart and lungs. This is the pelvis. And this is our backbone. This is, these are the bones of our 
uh, back. This is the backbone or the spine. The spine is made of 26 uh, movable bones. Tell me now, look at the skull. Look at the bones in your hands. Look at the bones in your legs. Do they have the same shape? Do they have the same size? No, they don't. Look at the bone colored in red in this diagram. So as I said, the skeleton is made of 206 bones. These bones aren't the same. They have different sizes. They have different shapes. Look at the bone colored in red, the humerus. How is the size or what do you think of this bone? Isn't it a long bone? So, the first type of bones found in our skeleton is the long bones. The humerus is one long bone. What about the bones colored in purple? The carpels and the phalanges. What do you think? Are they long? No, they are not. They are short. They are small in size. So, we have long bones in our skeleton. We have short bones in our skeleton, but also we have flat bones. And here I'm talking about the bones of the pelvis. They are flat. They have a certain surface. So, bones can be long, they can be short, and they can be flat. Let's do a quick activity together. Look at the colored bones in this hand. Are they long, short, or flat? These are the carpels and they are short bones. Perfect! The carpels are short bones found inside the skeleton. What about the bones of the skull? The bones of the skull, what do you think? Is the skull made of long bones, short bones, or flat bones? Flat bones. The skull is made of flat bones. Look at the femur. Didn't we say that the femur is the longest and the strongest bone in our body? And it's found in the thigh. So, is the femur a long bone, short bone, or flat bone? The femur is a long bone. That's right. Well done. And we're done. How did you find the lesson? I was talking about the skeleton made of all the bones in the body. Our skeletal system shown in the diagram in front of you is made of 206 bones. Okay, again, the skeletal system is the system made of bones. How many bones do we have? 206 bones. What's the job of these bones? They support us. They protect our organs. Let's give some examples. The skull protects the brain. The ribcage protects the heart and the lungs. The spine protects the spinal cord. I will talk about the spinal cord in the next uh, lesson. So the job of our um, Skeletal system is to support the body and protect the organs. What are bones made of? They contain calcium. Bones are hard because they contain calcium. What are different types of bones in the human body? Long bones like the humerus and the femur. Short bones like the carpels and phalanges and flat bones like the pelvis and the cranium. Wait, 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 one last thing to tell. Muscles are connected to our bones via tendons. So, again, tendons attach muscles to bones. Tendons connect muscles to bones, but what connects our 206 bones together? How are they connected together? 
Do you think tendons connect bones to bones also? No, not quite. Your bones meet at joints. So a bone meets another bone in a place called a joint. In this joint, bones are connected with ligaments and not tendons. Ligaments and not tendons. So, tendons connect a muscle to a bone, but a ligament connects a bone to a bone. And your bones meet at joints. Should I repeat? Tendons connect your muscles to your bones, but the ligaments connect your bones to your bones. So next time we want to build or to design our skeletal muscles, we should not forget to add the ligaments. Let me put, this is the biceps, this is the triceps, tendons connect the muscles to the bones, our tendons connect our muscles to our bones so now I'm adding the tendons and we should not forget this this is the ligament the ligament connect your bone to your bone let's test this and this is now working so our tendons connect our muscles to our bones but the ligaments connect a bone to a bone and this place right here is called the joint the joint is where two bones meet